Welcome to Iran. This country has some of the kindest people and most incredible food in the world. But you never know that from watching the news. In this documentary, I'm taking you on a food and culture tour of one of Iran's top cities, Yaz. Kubide, Ashejo, Tadig, Logme, and even Faluda. Yes, Faluda. But it's very different from the kind I've had in India. I'm going to show you how. So forget the rest of the intro. Let's get some mouth-watering Persian food in Yads. Good afternoon, guys. David Hoffman here from David's Bin here. Coming at you from beautiful Yads, Iran, my man. Mr. Hey, Taster. We just arrived. We are here in Talar Yaz, which is the best restaurant in Yaz, and they got Game Stew. Game Stew. Which is really famous in Yaz. And this is a huge restaurant, right? It is a huge restaurant. And they told me they got Fesen Jun Yazi as well. I never tried it before. Okay, I'm you excited. Ready? Yeah, yeah, it's really hot. I'm ready to. <laughs> no kids today. <laughs> Let's go inside here. Talad Yaz restaurant. It's boiling here in Yaz, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's hot. I was a student here. Oh, were you? In Maybot, yeah. In no way. So I was coming here, it was 20, 20 30 kilometers from here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Like Mr. Taster said, this is a massive restaurant. Look, huge dining hall. And over here, on the right, we have another massive room. I think this is for weddings. Look at this. Gorgeous place. Yeah, of course it's for weddings. They have a little stage over there. They also have upstairs, they have downstairs, and they have a VIP area. So I think now we're going to the kitchen to see how they make these dishes. I'm hungry, man. Let's go. I'm hungry too. I'm waiting for Mr. Khamenei. He's coming. Okay, we're starting off with some soup. So what soup do we have here? Yeah, it's barley soup, uh, which got barley in it, chicken, mm. carrot, onion, Good. and vegetables. So a very rich vegetable soup. It is very rich, yeah. All right, let's do it. Mm. It's amazing. Coffee? Yeah. Coffee means enough? Enough, enough, <laughs> of course. Oh, I got some bread here too? Oh, yeah. Oh wow, no what is this? Yeah. Local bread? Yeah. We got some lemons. You want some? Yeah. It was super, super tasty. Yeah, it it's is. It's like the ultimate chicken soup. Some salt? Mm-hmm. Mix it in. Right now, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, it's so good. I love it. Mm-hmm. So we can do the bread? Yeah, let's do the bread. For you. For me? Keep it in your mouth and then the soup. Mmm. Oh. Soup melts the bread. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's incredible bread. And you need this for home. Very nice. A little flaky. Very different from the other ones, right? It's still a little doughy. Yeah. What is this? You got some oil. What is that? Like lemon juice? Lemon juice, yeah. Try it a bit. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, I love your country. <laughs> I haven't had a bad meal yet. Not a bad meal. Really? Everything's been delicious. David, fresh orange juice. Wow, nice. So the way it works here is they keep bringing things around in these carts, right? As you can see, the woman's passing by. She came by, she goes, you want some fresh orange juice? Like, yeah, and then she like, just writes it down that we got it, right? Oh, that's fresh. Mm. Oh my gosh. So I guess they have uh, orange trees in this area, right? In, in North of Iran and South of Iran. Oh, that's good. Not the hotel stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kitchen time. It's exciting because they're going to be making a lot of dishes here. Salam, salam, salam. Salam. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Merci, merci. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, they're making a lot of things here. They got kebabs over here, more kebabs over there. Over here, they're cutting vegetables. I'm going to come back to you soon. <laughs> she wants me to go over there. I'm going to go over there now. Salam, salam. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. They're making the kebabs. They're making chicken kebabs. This is where they're making the kubi there. The kubi there. Yeah. Wow. He's the king in making the kebab. Yeah? His skill is phenomenal. Let's see, let's see. Wow. It's like 
Perfect. Pure lamb. Pure lamb. That's the best. No beef. <laughs> no beef. We're going to get some, right? Yeah. We're getting some kubide? Yeah. Of course, we have to. Wow, so we got like seven guys here working on the kubide. We have three women doing the chicken. Well, this guy doesn't stop. Look at this. He just keeps grinding meat. Just keeps grinding meat. This kubide, which is 90 grams, is going to make you look like kebab, which is 220. 220? Yeah. Look at how big that kebab is. So it's three times the size. Do you like lorme or kubide? Lorme. <laughs> yeah, it's three times the size. It's crazy. That's a massive kebab. So how many kebabs do they do per day here? I mean, right now it's hundreds. It's 1,500 to 2,000 kebabs every day. Well, me and him are going to eat like a dozen or two dozen. If, if, <laughs> if you get married, 5,000. 5,000 kubis. <laughs> Amazing. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, oh, this big factory here. Huge kitchen. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, there's uh, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. So they're frying potatoes in this huge vat. They got really famous chips. They're serving it with ketchup. No way. It's famous in this restaurant. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. So he's going to show us how they make the potato like that. So they get the water from potato and then they put in the hot water for shucking and cold water and then burn the oil. So the potatoes have been soaked in water sitting there and they strain it. Hot water, cold water, fire. Hello, hello, nice there, there are more over there. More over there? Oh, oh. So crispy. Mm. So fresh. Mm. And I'm sure the ketchup is like homemade. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The chicken is not fresh. Padesha. Salam, salam. So he's the owner. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Oh yes, this is it. Kubide, kubide. They're about to grill all this right here. Look at the amount of kubide. Infinite kebabs. So fresh, I have to have a bite. Oh! Oh! The best kubide. The best kubide I've had in yeah. Iran. The best kubide. Oh! It's all lamb, no beef in it. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I eat. <laughs> that was a spectacle. Incredible. Way too hot for me to be in this kitchen anymore. I'm ready to eat. Merci. Merci. Guys, merci. <laughs> My friend, merci, 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 merci. Oh my gosh, too good, too good. More? <laughs> I'm hungry, man, I sweat everything. We just started. And here we have oranges like boiling, making it super caramelized for the sweet pulao. Oh, smells amazing. That aroma? Oh, it's gonna be good. Koshmaze means delicious. Delicious for the sati. It has to have this oil. Look at that. It's almost green to black color. So what's this one? This is Jigo. Lamb shoulder. Lamb shoulder? Look at that. <laughs> the lamb heaven, man. Yeah, lamb heaven. Some sugar on it. Sugar. Wow. Orange. Almond on the statue. More rice. More sugar. sugar yeah. Oh my god. Wow. I've never seen this much sugar in a pulao. So many layers in this pulao. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Merci, merci. We're excited. We're going to eat the kubi there. We're going to eat like five dishes. I'm super thrilled. Hey, merci. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Very quickly and very short time it takes already to adopt the Iranian culture. Don't worry. <laughs> This is amazing, Hamid. I haven't seen a table this full in so long. <laughs> yeah. So how do we start? So we've got jigo, which is uh, lamb shoulder. We've got aubergine or eggplant with lamb. We've got qaymeh yazdi, which is the most famous dish in Yaz. It's uh, chickpeas and lamb, and it's really juicy and really delicious. So we've got chips here. We're going to have it with ketchup. Mm, ketchup we've over got there. 
lamb could be there, which is really nice. You try it in the kitchen and also shirin polo. I never saw that much sugar in that rice. It's like a quadruple layer yeah. of sugar. The statue, we've got almond and we've got sour orange, which is, uh, it, it has been sweetened, like uh, it was... Uh, caramelized. caramelized. Yeah, caramelized. Exactly. So that yeah. is sugar, they boil it for a long time, let it simmer. Exactly. And we've got fesenjan. This is a really famous dish here. Somewhere it's sour and somewhere it's sweet. I don't know whether it's sweet or sour, we need to taste it. Okay. But the sourness is coming from the pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate. Yeah. Oh, wow. So pomegranate taste going in there. You can have it either with meatball or chicken. And my English is <laughs> getting better because <laughs> it's been four, four days we are together. Five days, five and days. Yeah, I'm, I'm speaking English all the time, explaining the food. Checking my dictionary, sorry if I say anything wrong, I'm so sorry about it. And I want to say something, this is all lamb. Everything we're eating is lamb, Yeah. right? This is the lamb restaurant. Exactly. Okay, how do we start? The, the heaven of lamb. The heaven of lamb. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Let's start with the chips. Chips, okay. So we'll get Could ketchup. You, uh, with your so ketchup. Yeah, do some ketchup. Mmm. Yeah. I love this ketchup. Yeah. What is that? The tahdik just arrived. And they put the meat juice on top. Upside down rice. We put it here. And now, we're gonna put heime yazi on top. Like that. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Oh. The lamb, so juicy. Mmm, the thing. Crispy. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, you can put lemon stew on top or orman sabzi or any any other stew on top of the tahdi. It's heaven. It, it, this is amazing. This is so good. Tasty, man. Super yeah. tasty. For David? I'm guessing it's saffron, right? No. A smell of butter. Oh, butter. butter. The butter is like straight up melted throughout. Rice, chickpeas, oh, and lamb. <laughs> they keep bringing things. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's Ready? do it. Yeah. Oh. I love it. The lamb is so tender. Mmm. Nice soft. Chickpeas, right? Yeah, chickpeas. It's really important to wash, you know, chickpeas the night before. They, they make sure that it's uh, wet. So once they're cooking it, it's, it's not bad for the stomach. Okay, so that'll be very nice soaked. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is phenomenal. I think that the greatest part about this is not the lamb and chickpeas, it's the butter in the rice. Exactly. It like just enhances so much more flavor, so much more taste, right? I'm not a big butter guy, <laughs> but this clarified butter is so good. It's local butter. Mmm. And right next to it, the smell of pomegranate. I think I'm gonna have to serve us a little bit. You want some on the side? Yes, please. Put it here. On top? Yeah. More? No, it's fine. Good. It's gonna be so good, I can smell it. It smells sweet. I'm gonna get another one. The key thing about the uh, Fes and John is the quality of walnuts. Oh, the walnut quality? Yeah, it should be oily. So you can see the oil on top. It's more delicious if the quality is one less is higher. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Mm. Sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and pasty. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, the lamb balls are so nice. They're like one bite and they drop. Go down so easily. Oh. Mm. Oh my. I'm gonna dream of this one. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Mm. I'll have more. Happy that you like it. I'm so happy. You have to get them some of that sauce on the side. <laughs> Just a sauce, you know? It's a nice. Oh, give me the lamb balls. The lamb <laughs> How many you want? Two? No, five, five, five. I'll give you two. Okay, I have the rest, Pega. This restaurant. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, I love it. Stop, we have the pulao. Yeah, yeah. We have a little nuna, I guess I have. Oh, we have a spoon right here. 
So shirin polo or sweet polo? Sweet polo. Yeah. Is that good? Oh yeah. Enough. Enough. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have the jigo video. Oh yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. Lamb Break it up right here. <gasps> yeah. The lamb shoulder. Look how much meat this is. <gasps> oh, it just Boy, falls off. Yeah, yeah. It just falls off. Oh yeah, all the juices. You need the juices for the pulao. I'll put some bagali polo for you as well. Okay, so this is dill pulao. Yeah. Love this one. This yeah, one's super tasty. Beans. And then we still have kubide. We got some bread and then we have the eggplant. So which one you, you're gonna start with? For, uh, dill polo? No. Bagali polo or shrimp polo? I just want the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the shrimp polo. So you mix it always, right? Yeah. Ready. So sweet. Mm. The oranges, caramelized. Mm. Wow. Oh wow. I love it. This is up there with the cherry pulao. Yeah. This one is cherry pulao, my favorite so far in Iran. Really? Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's super sweet though. Like b besides just the caramelized um, oranges, you also have a lot of sugar yeah. in here. The lamb. It melts. <laughs> it's so tasty. Next one? The bagali polo. Bagali polo. You already tried it. Either way, I'm still gonna eat it, right? Mm -hmm. The fragrance. Mmm. Nice. I got bagali polo. Mm -hmm. I love the beans, they're nice and chunky. Mmm. Mmm. Caramelized oranges. Yeah. So good. I can see he's getting full. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the other type of. Um, this is Lohme. Lohme. It's 220 grams. So. That's a lot. So you let that burst in there? Yeah. So 220 grams, so it's basically like three times the size of this one in yeah. terms of thickness, right? Exactly. Onion. Oh, it's already freezing. Okay, so I'm only lasting like one minute in here. <laughs> it's so cold. It's too cold. Whoa. It's like an igloo in here. <laughs> so all these lamb were from yesterday, right? Super fresh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are for kubide. And these are for lamb shank. Oh, this is Shigo, the lamb shoulder. The lamb you shoulder. That. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> this is for uh, stews. For stews? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Another freezing chamber? Oh, no, this is too much. This is where they freeze it. <laughs> you want to go inside? Yeah. Oh, gosh. For all the This is really cold. This is, this is beyond. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What's happening here? Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Okay, so we got chicken, we have fish. It's uh, for kebab, uh, chicken kebab. Megu. This is prawns. Prawns there too? So these are the freezing chambers. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's too cold. It's too cold. Let's it's too cold. I'm going to close the door. No! Keep you in here on forever. <laughs> We've been in 100 years. <laughs> More freezing chambers? Was he going to show us another freezing chamber? Yeah, freezing chamber. But uh, there is one last in it. You know the steel that you had? Fit and John? It's, it's for Fit and John. One last. Yeah. Also, this is just like all the, the sodas, some nuts. Yeah. These are the, the bones for soups. Yeah? Yeah, look. Bagala sauce. Lubia is cooked. Beans. 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 Zorat. Corn. So it's all oranges that have been diced, right? Then it's all eggplant right here? Balu. This is cherries, guys. For cherry polo. No more, no more freezing chambers, right? <laughs> I, can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> guys, look at all the spices. Oh, sheep oil. Yeah. Look at that. What is that? Curd. That's curd? Yeah. So curd balls, huh? Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Really cold and dense. Mm. 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 Oh, it's good. 
In this section, it's all pickles, right? So we have cauliflower, we have uh, carrots, and different vegetables, right? Oh, man, I curd. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but very well healthy, actually. I know, I know, but a little bitter, that one. Mm. And over here, just a lot of sodas. It's massive. This is like Ikea restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that big, it's huge. Oh, and here we have all the pots. And what is this, like flour? It's the rice. Oh, it's rice, it's rice. So it's uh, polo. So what's this? It's um, pomegranate paste. Oh, pomegranate paste right here? Yeah. So we're gonna try this paste. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> you can lick the whole spoon. Mm. Wow. Love it. That's delicious. Can you try one? For you? Yeah, Mmm. Mmm. It's for sure. Mmm. Very nice. Mm. So tasty. Not too sour. No. My friend, merci. Thank you. Merci. Ciao. All right, so we're done with the restaurant. It's been an amazing tour. We've been here for like three hours. What we have something more. On oh, something more. Another thing. Oh my gosh. Merci. Dun dun da da. He's getting married. Every single night, they got three weddings here. Every single night, unbelievable. And that was Tala Yaz, the biggest and most famous restaurant in Yaz. You have to visit this place. Such an incredible experience. We went to the kitchen. We saw so many things were made. Gooby Day, we had. We had Aime Yazdi. We had Fesen John. You loved it. We had Shirin Polo, Sweet Polo. We had lots of stuff. And I'm going to say thank you to Kutuk. Thank you, Kutuk Travel. Kutuk Travel, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. And guys, when you come to Iran, come to Yaz and visit that restaurant. An amazing spot. You have to eat here. Exactly. And visit me as well. <laughs> Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. We'll Follow see you in the next me, one. Please. Please. <laughs>
but right now we're gonna try it. Because they're the factory, people come to buy from them and then sell it in their stores. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> so they're selling this one, I don't even know how many kilos that was, but they, they took it out, they put it in this big plastic. 11 kilo. 11 kilo? Yeah. So they put it in a plastic bucket, they put it on the scale, 11 kilos later, they sell it. That's yeah. it, this is, this is amazing. So it's sugar and water, some ice, now you get some rose water, and now we'll get the faluda. More rose. Oh right, man, it's faluda time. Oh, yeah, faluda time. Faluda yazdi. And to make it more delicious, just put some on the ice. Okay. Just to make it more cold there and... Like freeze it. Yes. Oh, the rose. You're gonna get mad after that. I'm gonna get mad? Mm. <laughs> oh, the rose. Mm-hmm. Horseback sheet. Wow. Oh man. It's so cold. Oh, it's like silky. It's good. Mm, so refreshing. Especially in this heat right now. Mm. I understand why in this part of the world you guys love this. In the heat, <laughs> yeah. you have to have a cold dessert. And they're not really into like sweets like ice cream and stuff. This is different. Yeah. It's starch, it's noodles. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, the rose though, it. the yeah. rose. Oh. Oh. That hits the spot. Are you ready to pass out? <laughs> Let's go on and sleep. <laughs> Look at those big blocks of ice. So they sell the ice to vendors, huh? Woo! I didn't even see the ice storage here. All right, the starch is almost ready to become noodles. Let's go downstairs. This right here is to send up all the noodles straight up without them having to carry it through the stairs. Here we go. Whoa. It's incredible. It's crazy. So what happens here is that once the starch is ready, they throw it into this machine. It comes out in super, super thin noodle form, and then it goes into cold water, and the cold water, it hardens. Yeah, because it's hot, and it's cold water, so the, it makes the shock. The shape. Yeah, yeah, the shock. So once a section is done, they move it completely to the other side, and you can see it's like a mountain of noodles in here. I feel like I want to grab a little bit. No, <laughs> no. Will he let me? Ice. Mmm. Bland. We need the rose. We need rose water. In the book, I'm Mr. Taster. We need rose water. Yeah, yeah, you need rose water. That's what you said. You would do Mr. Taster. It's really bland. More? What, like here? I'm just gonna get over here. I'm gonna get a little piece. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want. <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> Not like this. Get in the bowl with rose water and sugar. Merci. Thank you. Merci, merci. They're not listening to me. They're with the taster. <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Oh, merci, merci, merci. This delicious bowl of faluda costs only 30 cents. I highly recommend coming here. This was amazing. My man, hey, merci, merci. Merci to you and your family, merci. Let's go, let's go. All right, it's 6 p.m., I'm tired. Let's go to the hotel. Your taster's falling asleep. So what hotel are we going to? We're going to Moshirul Mamo Lake Hotel. It's a really nice hotel in yeah, it's one of the best. So Yazdi is a small city. Uh, every building is like one or two stories. You have mosque, you have the Grand Bazaar, very similar to how most of the major cities are with those two elements always, right? And then over here we have uh, mountains, right? Yeah, local mountains surrounding this whole city. On the other side, we have one of the greatest desert of the world, Dasht -e Lut, with the highest temperature of the world. Oh yeah, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. Salam, 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 salam. So what do we have here? Yeah. Toot. Berry. Berry. Watermelon. Oh, it's so refreshing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I love this welcome drink. Oh, and they have a massage center. Look at this. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. Wow. Love the architecture. Yeah. <gasps> 
They have like a whole garden here. Look at this. They have macaws. And look at that. They're hungry, huh? Beautiful birds. For love it for you. As soon as we made it through the reception, we got here to the garden. To the right, we have the restaurant. We have some macaws. And then over here, we have this beautiful garden with trees, very lush. Over here to the left, these are all the rooms, right? Yeah. Those are all rooms? Yeah. Very luxurious, deluxe, luxurious. So during the trip, we've been staying at a lot of beautiful hotels. Most of them we get there at night and leave earlier in the morning, so we never really have time to experience them correctly. This one, we have a little more time. We're not filming tonight. We're going to relax, put the camera down, and just chill here. And here's our room. So mine's 410, his is 411, his is 413. Look at my room. Let me see. Be jealous. Come on, You have a little swan there? <laughs> It's beautiful. And what do you got here? Some more sweets? No more sweets, no man. No more sweets. No more sweets. So I have a little relaxing area in the, in the beginning. Nice. You could just hang out here. Extend. Oh, this is nice. Oh, super nice. Well, I got a massive room. Huge. Have a queen size bed, have a TV, have some sweets, have some fruits. Look at this bathroom. Oh, very nice. And a relaxing area. Let's go see what Mr. Gaster is. Hey, Ahmed. Where are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm Tired? How are you? Good, man. That food will fill me up. Yeah, I'm full too. <laughs> they asked us about the dinner. I said, look, we can't. No, no, no. No more dinner. No, yeah, no dinner. No, no dinner. Well, that's it, guys. Yeah. We did the faluda. Yeah. And we came here. But the faluda process was amazing. Amazing. You've yeah. ever seen that before? No. First honest. time? Yeah, first time. I had it here, but I never saw the process. And that's it. Hope you liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to him, me, and thank you to Kutuk Travel. Yeah, Kutuk Travel. Uh, they did an amazing job in this trip so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and, happy? And I love this hotel. And I love your room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's we got better room. To no, be honest. no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's always better room for our guests in Iran. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And follow me on YouTube. <laughs> you can find the link here. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. <laughs> we need rest. We haven't slept in like six days. Everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Yaz, Iran, with my friend Mr. Taster. Hey, good morning. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. I'm asleep. No, no, no. <laughs> so it's 9 a.m. and we're yeah. gonna have like a traditional breakfast here. Yeah, it's really famous here. It's orme pomfret, which is orme is a sliced piece of lamb. You know, ages ago they keep it with fat because there was no fridge. They they put it in a jar and maybe in a stomach as well. So they put in the stomach of lamb and then they close it with the fat so they, can, they could use it when it's, it's hot. So that's how they would preserve it. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go. This is the restaurant right here, right? So the restaurant dates back uh, 76 years, right? Yes, 76. 76 years. Wow, and it's packed. Look at this, guys. This is the entry? Yeah, that's it. That's the queue. <laughs> that's the queue, my gosh. So people really like this meal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Skipping the queue. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tasty knows everyone. Salam, salam, salam. How are you doing? Salam. Oh, let's go. The lentil soup. Oh, lentil soup as well? Mm, it's gonna be so tasty. It's a very tight spot here. <laughs> so they have two things here. They have the lentil soup, and then what else do they have? It's abadaniyash. Abadaniyash? Yeah. So what is that? I haven't tried it. It looks like a, just a vegetable yeah, stew. Vegetable. Oh, have we ordered yet? <laughs> Not yet. No. Not yet. We're going to kitchen first. Kitchen first? Okay, amazing. Guys, I love this restaurant. Look how beautiful it is. Super historical. 70 plus years old. I love the mosaics. Lots of colors. Food's gonna be awesome. Alright, we're going downstairs now. Into the kitchen. If we can get through the line, we can squeeze through here. Oh wow. Look at the elevator. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you can find the force of this uh, soap. Oh yeah, yeah, down there. Yeah. Alright, my turn. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh yes, in the kitchen. Wow, look at that vat. Yeah. So Ahmed, what's yeah. happening here? Yeah, they're making the uh, lentil soup or hadassi in this 
That's yeah, good. They're going to show you to This is the process of how they make adasi or lentil stew. Uh, basically, they add lentils into this pot, yes. they add water, and they let it sit here boiling for about 90, 90 minutes. minutes. Yeah, exactly. And it takes 90 minutes, and it's almost half cooked. So after 90 minutes, it's going to that pot which is bigger, it takes five hours over there to get it completely ready. Oh, so it cooks halfway here and then yeah. simmers for five hours more and then it'll be complete. Yeah, complete. And you, you saw the queue, they finish like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. Oh, so it's quick, quick. one, two hours yeah. and they sell out. Gone. All right, so get here early. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna see, it's almost done, right? It's almost done, it's after one hour and a half. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna see how they make the lamb with eggs. Over here we have a bunch of eggs, but where's the lamb? Over here we have the lamb that's been yeah. in its fat, right? It's fat, yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> I can't wait. I love this. Meat and eggs. Cheers. Just adding some spices. What is that? It's just pepper? It's, it's meat uh, spices. One of them is bay leaf and one of them is uh, cardamom. All right, it's time to eat. So, I'm taking the lift with the, the lentils. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Woo. Ali, food's coming. Oh, okay. This is going to be amazing. Here we go, here we go. Oh, we got to make some room here. With all matis. All right, I'm excited. I'm ready. <laughs> so, how do we do this? So, take the bread. Okay. Take some bread. Take some of the lamb. Mm hmm. Like that. Okay. And we dip it? And dip it in the egg. In the yolk. In the yolk. Look oh at that. my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> the fat. Pickle? Out of this world, man. It's probably the best breakfast of my life. The meat, the fat, the yolk all paired together. Whoa. Amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Thank God I like lamb. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What else do we try? The main one is lentil soup as well. Oh, the lentil soup, okay. The adasi. So mix it together. Beautiful. Look at this. It's cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells nice and sweet now. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The cinnamon just yeah. takes it up a notch. Whoa. Mmm. I never had a sweet lentil before. Yeah. And it almost takes seven hours mm -hmm. to start the process. Yeah, 90 minutes to cook, five hours to simmer, right? And half an hour for eating it. <laughs> now take take a bit of bread and do it like that. Like right, that? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Best lentil dish ever. Really? Ever, wow. yeah, man, the cinnamon. I think I love that you guys add sweetness, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Like that. Mix mm -hmm. it together. Yeah. You get some bread. Oh, the Yum. main part. Okay. Tahdi. Look at that. Oh, wow. You're going to love it. The fried egg. Yeah. Now, try this one. Okay. <laughs> Big bite, man. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, he's every day. Wow, so delicious. Why so good? So delicious. So what's this? This is lemonade. This is lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. It's nice. Really bubbly. Wanna go? Kosh Govar. So somebody just surprised us with some dolmas. So what are dolmas in Iran? Because I know what they are in Greece Everywhere. and in Turkey. Everywhere in Iran. Yeah? All totally Iran, yeah. So grape leaves inside is rice and meat? And pomegranate sauce. And pomegranate? Oh, so it's going to be sweet, this one. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, they're like sticky. 
ready. Oh, whoa. Wow. You look at dessert dolma. Mmm. I'm a huge fan. I'm gonna have more. It's got rice in it, mm -hmm. split peas, and meat. It's like a sticky pomegranate, almost like a marmalade. Mmm. Mm. I love that. Mmm. Next up is? Uh, this is Abadaniyash. I never tried it before. Okay. But it's got meat. I can see... Some chickpeas, there's chickpeas, beans. Chickpeas, yeah. I don't know what that green stuff beans, in the middle is. And also this, vegetables. This, and this? I think it should be mint. It's mint? It's onion. It's onion? Onion and garlic. Oh, nice. So you gotta mix it. It's thick. Yeah, it's and very thick. And the thickness is coming from the meat. Look at this. Tasty. Oh, the food here in Iran. <laughs> Every day I'm blown away. Yeah. Every day. Mm. Dude, I like it better than lentils. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. I'm really surprised of how every single day, every dish is different. Everyone's better and better and yeah. better. Mm. I mean, this is the entire meal itself. Whoa. Mm. Next time you come to Iran, I'm gonna take you to Abadan. Abadan. Mm. Sweet from Yaz. Special sweet from Yaz. What is it? Baklava. It's baklava. I'm gonna take one of these home. Yeah. Oh. Oh. With your cheese, better. With the ultimate baklava. <laughs> What's happening? I have to buy a box. I'm gonna buy one of these. Okay, to end our meal, we have baklava and chai, and this baklava is very special, Yaz, Yazdi. Yazdi, yeah. Yazdi. It's it, really famous in this area. So it is coconut and pistachio. Yeah, pistachio, yeah. So good. Best baklava combination. Yazdi and Otab. Oh. Oh. I love it. I need to buy a house here. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. My friend. Thank you. Delicious breakfast. Okay. Amazing breakfast. Okay. Top breakfast in Iran. Yeah. For me. The lamb, <laughs> the, the lentils. The, lamb and the, the lamb and the egg is delicious food. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. You, thank you. Merci, merci. Hey, my friend, merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are too kind. I'll see you later. Next time in Yaz. Next time. Oh, it's great. That has to the Friday must have, yes. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, let's go. These are small bags, the handicrafts of this city. Handmade, high quality, and the special fabric of yes. I always look for presents for my daughters everywhere I go. On this trip, I'm going to surprise them with a lot of stuff. This costs only two US dollars, handmade. Even less than two dollars. Even less. Okay, my friend, I'm taking three. I'm three. Man, you know, this is different gorgeous. Man. Different colors or? Uh, yeah, let me see the colors. Yeah, let me get these. Okay, good. Oh my god. These three. Hey. Okay, so I love this Lord place so much. Gosh. I was looking at everything and they have these beautiful baskets. Look at this. Three dollars for this one. How many dollars have you got here? Uh, I think it's I think it's three inside and then it's this yeah, three yeah, more. Yeah. How much is total? So far? Seven point sixty six cents. That's total? Everything? Yeah, yeah total. Yeah. All right, so let's let's round it to ten. What else can I get for ten? What about he said? You said for the head, this. This for the head? Yes. Okay, so I took three little purses, two um, I guess like for wallets for money and uh, yeah. coins, and then I took the big basket, roughly like ten dollars and uh, fifty cents, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Super affordable. Come to this guy on the way to the mosque. Wow, look at this store. Just beautiful. Everything's so nice. I love these too, man. These are super nice. This? Yeah, so beautiful. What is it for? And uh, For dining tables. Also, maybe for your bedroom. On the bed, you can take it. All right. Bye. Let's go. Merci, merci. Goodbye. Thank you so much. And this is the Friday Mosque. Beautiful gate. Right next to it, we have mini bazaars. I'm going to stop really fast and get a headpiece because my head is boiling. This is better quality. Mm -hmm. I like the color. The other one is uh, it's way more golf region, you know. This is rainy done. We have to go with some different colors. <laughs> mm. 
tablecloths they have gowns, they have headpieces, beautiful gowns. I think I'm gonna get one of these for my ex, especially for the home, when you're walking around the house, especially in Miami, it's really hot. My friend, merci, merci. Hey, ciao, ciao, let's go. Oh, wow, beautiful. Look at this moss, gorgeous colors, so different, super lean, like, like a very, very tall entryway, two minarets. For the conquer of Iran by the Arab Muslims, this place was a fire temple, and then these are the fire temple altar that it was taken for uh, holding the eternal sacred fire. This is very interesting, this is very philosophical. We have the earth and this is the birth of human beings into life, blossom, and finally to the heavens. And so this is after death to the, toward the Lord. All things get the started from the earth to the heavens. So right here, this is the vestibule. As soon as you enter the mosque, yeah. it's the vestibule. This is a one Ivan mosque. The dome, so amazing. The tile huh. parts, different tile parts. We have different actually arts here. The geometric designs, the calligraphy, and different other elements like the praying altar over there you can see the very amazing praying altar and this is the direction of mecca so here in iran all the mosques have this type of design where it's square then you have a uh, squinch as you said that's right yeah then it's then it's 16 32 uh, sided and then 16 16 sided 32 sided and then the round cupola on onto it the dome yeah, this is Perfect. a difference between Roman and Iranian architecture. Got it. I mean, this place is stunning, beautiful. I love the blues. I mean, yeah. you can find this. Almost every single mosque in Iran is like this in terms of the colors, right? Yes. But this one is extra special in terms of the entryway, this, and obviously today's Friday, so it's a, it's yeah. a holiday. Yeah, that's right. We have, yeah, three sections in this mosque. The inner space taken for normal, actually, ceremonies for winter, season we have the winter hall winter praying hall and also something in the courtyard that is the raised area we do have in the center of the courtyard again this was taken in summertime it means that these three sections were as sacred as actually the main area for praying just it means that the people were not allowed to sit in this area to perform the praying just onto the raised area I think we still have one more thing to see. I think the fire temple. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> he was playing with some birds earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back on the bus. It is too hot out there. Woo! All right, we're going to get off really quickly and see this square, beautiful square here. Nechakmah. Mir Chakmah Square from 15th century, Taimur the Lame actually, who attacked Iran. Then after him, there was a ruler ruling over Yaz. He decided to make some construction. So this complex here, we have a mosque, two water reservoir, very huge reservoir, and also this facade that is called Mir Chakmah facade that is really beautiful with two minarets. In this complex, we have the water reservoir, we have the mosque, we have this facade, and inside you have a mini market, you have some butchers, souvenir shops. That's basically it, right? Beautiful piece of architecture from the 15th century. That's right. I love it. Now we go back. Okay, let's go to the fire temple. Fire temple. So fire temples yeah. were pre-Islam. Getting back to Sasanid period. Okay, so it's pre 7th century. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, let's go. Fire temple. And we just passed the famous clock tower right here. All right, let's go. Is this way? Yes. Uh, you know, before Islam, we 
where there were Australian people and uh, we had fire or the sacred fire as the symbol of Aura Mazda the construction of this fire temple in Yaz and then uh, this place became the very important place for all the Australian people of the world we have farewell onto the facade with the right hand showing the right way holding the circle of unification in his left hand that supposedly the marriage ring had been taken from this symbol from the Australian religion we have the wings in three layers the good deal good will and good thought that uh, are taken by all human beings ascending the heavens and if you get the tail that goes down uh, actually good uh, bad action bad thought and bad will it goes to the hell okay now we're going to enter the temple and see the sacred fire so story goes this fire dates back over a thousand five hundred years it's an eternal fire it doesn't stop burning they keep putting wood on it and it hasn't been here for that long what happened is it was by shiraz and over the decades they moved it in secrecy to this area why because during that time you know, there were all the arab muslims who were extinguishing all the fires so they want to get rid of that religion from this area luckily for the people in that time they moved it in secret and it's here now it's amazing thousand five hundred years it doesn't stop burning Right next to the fire temple, we have a photo gallery. Here it shows you a little bit of the history and also the concepts of this religion. So here we have Zoroaster, which is the messenger, right? So he's the messenger of their religion. Over here, it shows you a guy praying. So they pray five times a day towards the source of life, sun, water, food, to source of life, right? Yeah. And then over here, they have um, basically a little table. It shows you how they celebrate what, what like? New Year. New Year. New Year. So their New Year. Yeah. No rules. It's called No Rus. Oh, No Rus. Okay, yeah, so No Rus. It's a famous, famous yeah, New Year's yeah. in Iran, it right? It is a pre-Islamic element taken from the Australian time. Celebrated from ancient time, from Achaemenid period even. We'll see in Persepolis how the people celebrate the New Year. Amazing. Right. And so, yeah, so this is the photo gallery. And I think that's it for the temple, right? Yeah. That's it, my friends. That was our morning here in beautiful Yad's. Man, what a day. <laughs> yeah, what a start. What a start. So we Amazing. started off at this restaurant. From yeah, we had egg and lamb. We had uh, lentils. lentils. We had uh, some dolma. Yeah. We had, I mean, so many good things. So many good things. For me, that egg with lamb, my favorite breakfast so far in Iran, one of my favorite breakfasts of all time. So good, so fatty, so delicious. And then after that, we saw the mosque. We bought some stuff. We came here to the fire temple. And that was our morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to him, follow me. And also, big thanks to our friends at Kutuk Travel for bringing me to Iran and <laughs> take us in the video now. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Love Yads. Yads is amazing. Don't forget to follow my YouTube channel, please. <laughs> He's the man. He's amazing. <laughs>
Let's go see that. Ooh. Oh, look at the peacock. Beautiful peacock. You know, I have a bunch of these in my neighborhood. Oh, this guy has this bird. Aww. He's biting, he's biting. Look at the peacock. Okay. All right. Enough with the birds. <laughs> so, this is a traditional home, huh? I mean, this is incredible. Look, you have a garden over here to the right. You have the birds. You have this little relaxing area. You can probably smoke some shisha here. Over here, we have a fountain. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh, rose water. Musquillo. Oh, with musquillo. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mmm, so tasty. So it's not rose water. No, no, no. Oh, but very refreshing. Must yeah, willow. It's going to give you another another cup. Yeah. Let's have some more. In this city, yeah. you have to stay hydrated. Oh wow! I love it. That was so good. You ready for the food? Mm, yeah. yeah, I'm ready for the food. Abush oh, oh, means dizzy uh, with origin or eggplant. So we've got meat, lamb, we've got uh, tomato, we've got potato, onion, and chickpeas, uh, turmeric, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's it for that dish? Oh, it sounds amazing. Yeah. Some water. Chickpeas. Lamb with fat. This city is all about the lamb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this country is about the <laughs> So how long is that? 10 minutes. So it's going to boil for 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. They normally put the water in like that, so it's getting cold, you know. Oh, yeah? Cold water, yeah. <laughs> she's been boiling that pot for 10 minutes. Now she's going to add some spices. She just added turmeric? Yeah. But like pepper? So it's gonna take like two hours to get the dizzy or up bush ready. So now we're gonna go for Queen's stew. Really famous here. So you've got lamb, a split peas, pomegranate sauce, and apricot. Okay, let's try this apricot. Apricot. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice and sticky. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Nice and meaty. Mm, love it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, next up, she's gonna add some turmeric. Turmeric, yeah. Love it, looks amazing. Smells great. Yeah. <laughs> the turmeric hitting the onions, yeah. the lamb. And how long is this gonna cook for? For a while, uh, right? Two, two, three minutes. Oh, quick. Yeah. Quince. Split peas. Split peas, yeah. Oh my gosh, we're boiling here, they have to cover us with something. <laughs> now we're going to add the apricot to the quince stew. So what do we do next? Uh, we making coffee for you. Coffee, um, we call it Kahve Yazdi. It's really old and it's been a uh, national registration. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow, it smells amazing. Yeah, it's a, a little bit sweet, different mm -hmm. from the coffee you had before. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah. So we started a fire here for the coffee. Between the fire and the sun, it's intense. Oof, look at that. Oh my God, it's like a thousand degrees here, man. Like I'm already sweating. So this is where we're making coffee, right here. Nice, we get out of the sun. We've got tusk kebab here, which is lamb, potato, tomato, and lemon. You ready? I'm ready. I can't wait for this one. This is unique to this city, right? This is to this city? Yeah, for this city. Okay. So turmeric and black pepper. Cooling down this little tent we made here on the side because it's so hot right now. <sighs> Musk willow. Oh, that's good. 
The water is boiled, now it's time to make some coffee. Yeah. All right. We're gonna put cocoa, uh, cardamom, sugar, sugar cube, and coffee. Perfect. Rose water and cardamom going after. Rose water and coffee and cardamom? Dude, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah. It's gonna be a sweet coffee. Yeah. Uh, normally it takes seven, eight hours, but we're gonna do it in two hours only. But any more uh, time, it would be much more delicious. So they're gonna add potatoes and tomatoes to the tusk kebab? Yeah. David, it's a local bread of uh, Mehriz, the area name. It's called Mehriz. Yeah. They're just making it in this area. And they put it in tanur. Yeah. Tandoor, tanur, same thing, clay yeah. oven. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is amazing. And they mix it with some herbs, look yeah. at that. So he's lighting a fire and he's dropping it into the tanur. It's getting really hot in two seconds. Oh, it's a fast fire, look at that. Oh my gosh. That fire is raging. The fire is intense, look at that. It's like cooking the wall. Look at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the wall's on fire. <laughs> right there, a little pillow. And then he's gonna go in and throw it in. Very similar to how they do it in India and Pakistan, a lot of places around the world where they use a tandoor, right? Basically, South Asia, Central Asia, Middle East, they do this. Tandoor, tandoor. They put bread on a pillow, they put it on the wall. It cooks up in literally two minutes, three minutes, it's done. This bread looks phenomenal. Oh, and we have water. Yes, Very of nice. course. All right, guys, it's my turn. I've done it before. I've done this in India. Let, let me see where it is. Let's see. How deep is it? Oh, my God, it's deep. It's deep. Okay, so you got to be really careful. Not so good. I tried. Okay. I tried. I tried. Oh, he's making it nice and charred. Look at that, crispy. Mm -hmm. This is really amazing, guys, look at this. He keeps moving it onto the stone, taking it off, seeing if it's enough chart on it, like if it's enough, you know, crispiness. Ooh, it's hot, it's so hot. Careful, you're gonna burn your hand. So luckily for us, we can taste it right away. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Coriander. Mmm, nice and fluffy. Oh, wow. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You know, it is too good. Mm -hmm. Wow, one of the best ever. Mm -hmm. Sesame seeds, mm -hmm. coriander. We are making a shuli ash, and it must have in Yaz. It's really famous. Exactly like, uh, what was the name of the? Oh, like borscht. Yeah, borscht in Russia. If you go to Russia, you must have borscht. And here is Shuli. Very strange because their beetroot is white. It's very different from the one I've had in Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. So after two hours of boiling that coffee, it's time to add cardamom and rose water. Ten minutes. Ready. Only ten minutes? Yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's been We've a long been in the day. fire the whole day. <laughs> so what is he doing there? He put the coal in it <laughs> to take the bitter taste out. Yeah? Yeah. I've never seen this before in my life. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It's my first time as well. This is almost ready, so we're gonna add some tomato, potato, and onion. Yeah. Long process. Yeah. And eggplants. Wow. More water? Wow, what a dish, huh? Yeah. The coffee's ready. I'm super excited to try this. It's gonna be amazing. It's already like 4.30 in the afternoon. We're gonna pair this with Yazdi cake, or cake Yazdi. Cake Yazdi and coffee from here. Oh, so let's have the cake first. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Cardamom. And I have the coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a pairing. Mm. Mm. Take a seat. Mm -hmm. Ah, we have to. Take a seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best coffee I've ever had in my life. Really? The rose, the cardamom. Mm. So it's our uh, queen's stew and she's gonna put uh, pomegranate uh, paste in it and also saffron. The smell, that aroma. Wow, can't wait for this. 
Two hours in the making, huh? Now saffron. So there's wheat powder for the for the arsh. Shoot for the arsh. arsh. Oh, yeah, and that's it. Yazi surely. Yeah. Like borscht, but this is green. <laughs> this is amazing. She added onion with mint. She oh yeah. Fried it, yeah. Oh, okay, she okay. Fried in the kitchen, and then she added to the basically like food. sauteed it. Exactly. And then now she's gonna add some vinegar. Yeah. Nice, huh? It smells amazing. This is the quince stew. Mm -hmm. Guys, you have no idea. The aroma coming out of this pot. Whoa, never smelled something like this before. The turmeric, nice and bright yellow. Vibrant colors here. On oh, the chickpeas too. Can't wait, can't <laughs> wait. So I thought that was it, but no. There's still another piece of this process. Yeah. He has to mash it. He has to mash the, the same as this we had in Tehran. We have to mash it. Fight for the for the bone marrow. Yeah. So we're not fighting today. So no, no, I've got one more. Oh, you got one more? Yeah. All right. At least we're starting with something good. <laughs> yeah. We haven't eaten yet. Yeah. Look at the pickle face. She's waiting. You want pickle? You want? I take it. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> ah. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm. oh, meat and the fat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm hmm. That was good. You guys have no idea. This is gonna blow our minds right here. So, we still have one more to serve. Yeah. Lunch, actually, liner is served. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we start this? So this is Shuli Osh, really famous in Yaz. Uh, they added saffron and vinegar at last. This one is tas kebab, tomato, potato, and lamb. Mm -hmm. And this one is the meat juice. It's the meat juice? Yeah, yeah, with aubergine in it. And this one is um, queens. Queens. Queens stew. So it's got queens in it, lamb, and chickpeas. And then we also mashed it, right? Oh, we have the mash as well, which we call it gusht kubide. And the bread. Oh. Oh. I love it. I love it. Let's start with the ash. And as you can see, sugar beets here are white. Oh, the beetroot's white? Yeah. So it's pomegranate paste. We put it on shuli ash. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Very similar. Bosch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like nice green. Yeah. And um, Bosch is red. Mm -hmm. It's also nice and sweet because yeah. of the pomegranate paste. Mmm. Oh. Amazing. Oh wow. It's so good. I love it because so rich. The beetroot. Mm. Nice and crunchy, right? Mmm. Absolutely love it. Oh, and it's so hot. <laughs> Still nice and hot. Mm. It's very good. This is different though. It's not the same yeah. as borscht. No. I think adding that sweet element, pomegranate, mm. nice twist. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So this is crispy bread. We put it in the bowl again, like that. And then we're so gonna go for eggplant meat juice. So I'll put some potato for you, more meat juice, some meat on top. So the bread basically soaks it up and gets yeah, soft. Exactly. We've got aubergine and tomato <laughs> on top and a bit more. Mm. 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 Oh, I love it. Oh, that's good. Mm. The bread was hard and now it's so yeah. soft. Oh, wow. That lamb. Yeah. <laughs> it melts. You got a lot of lamb. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. It's my lamb. <laughs> oh, like that. Like the aubergine. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no more lamb. Yeah, for you. I'll get a piece of lamb from you. Look at that piece of lamb right there. Can have whole. Mmm. 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 Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> the moisture popped me out of the lamb, soaked it all up, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. And the aubergine. I love the aubergine. What a meal. Mm hmm. So different, huh? Yeah. We haven't had this dish. Ready for the next one? <laughs> We're done. This is taddy with potato. Upside down rice with potatoes, yeah. so nice and crispy. Ooh, wow. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know. Mmm. Mm. I love this word. Wow. If, if you're gonna kill Iranian, just close her, his hand or her mm. hand and just have Thai dig in front of him. <laughs> Seriously. It's so salt. Mm. 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 Amazing. Mm. Delicious. Crispy rice, soft, hard, crunchy. Exactly. So they're putting underneath when they're gonna put the rice. So rice on top and then upside down and the Thai dig is coming out. Amazing. So saffron rice as always. You guys love your saffron rice. Love the saffron rice, yeah. but the amount of butter they put. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Queen's stew. Only in gas. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Sweet. Sweet and nice. Mm hmm. Mm. Everything pairs well with each other. It's like a nice balance. And you have to have it with rice. Yeah. Because that rice soaks up that like gravy, right? So nice. And Iranian can't live without rice. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm. And here in Iran, they love the rice. Oh. I feel like it's like, a, like an Oman. Without rice, there's no meal. Yeah. Right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Amazing. Next one. Tusk kebab. My mom loves it. Look at the color, look. Crazy. Okay, bring the bread. The bread. Do we need bread? I think we yes. need bread. Look at this monster. Okay. Take a bit. Okay. And put lamb. Lamb on top? Yeah. Or inside, right? Ooh, it's still very hot. Let it soak up. Some potato. Mm hmm. Tomato. Like that. Mm hmm And some juice on top. Ready. Ready? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Another sweet dish. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. Tomato paste. Mm hmm Mm. Mm. The lamb. Oh. It gets better and better with the lamb, huh? Yeah. Wow, just that broth right there, that soup. I'll be sure. Mm. 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 Oh. I think this is the best lamb of all the dishes. Yeah, and let's have the juice. This is juice alone. Mm. Oh man, mm. it actually reminds me of gazpacho. Gazpacho? Mm -hmm. Spanish, uh, Spanish. Spanish um, huh? Yes, yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing, it's tomato. Do you want tomato tissue? soup? Yes, sir. So we still have one more dish to try. And it's the mash, it's right? Kushkubide, yeah. Kushkubide. 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 Yeah. Means mash meat. Mash meat. We had the juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to have the kushkubide. And for that, we need onions. Okay, what do we do with the onions? But we have to break it with our hands. Ready? Is that okay? Yeah, I can. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh, you broke it? Oh, oh. Look at that. mine is better. Man. I'm experienced, man. <laughs> I'm Iranian. <laughs> Bring the bread. Bring the bread? Yeah. You need more bread? <laughs> <laughs> we believe that 
this would be more delicious. Okay. Because the gas is coming out, oh. so it would be sweeter. So it's like basically airing out. At this exactly. Point. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So what do we do? Just go in here. <laughs> He's not hang hungry anymore. Look at my body. I'm not, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> I'm eating a lot here. Okay. And then, for you? Okay. And for me? Oh, you should put it inside? You can put it inside or you can have it after. Ready. Let's go. Let's go. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. So delicious. Oh yeah, but that onion is strong. Mm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh my god. What a finish. <laughs> what a finish. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, that was our experience mm. here. Yeah. What's the name of this hotel? Saroye Jahan Gad. And that's the hotel, right? Mehriz, yeah. Mehriz. Near Yaz. Yeah, like a 20 minute drive. 20 minutes from Yaz. Yeah, we saw a whole process of how you make all these dishes. We spent like six hours here yeah. going through every single one. What an experience. I loved it all. I mean, this is just phenomenal. Yeah. Each dish is completely different, all from Yaz. Mm. Well, one in specific, this one, is the one that's really from here, right? Like, this is yeah. only here. Thank you so much to Kutuk Travel yeah. for bringing us here. Mr. Chaser, thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, subscribe to him. Follow my channel. <laughs> Thumbs up, comment below. We'll see you in the next one. Maybe in Yaz, maybe in Shiraz. Maybe in Miami. Maybe in Miami. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm going to eat some more of this, but alone. Mmm. That's good. All right, I need a bed. I need a bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,